Hello, in this video we are going to create a new item and use it uh, to craft the potion. So let's get started by opening the editor, select database and then hit on the plus button to create a new item. Give it some basic information. And then uh, select the model and drag it to the prefab field. Click on the setup button and save it as a prefab. Then go to the scene and drag and drop the prefab to it. Click on the Edit Behavior button, add a new action, Inventory System, Can Pick Up. This will check if the inventory is full and uh, so we can pick this item up or not. And then we use Pick Up action to pick this item. I want to pick only one item at a time. And that's basically it for for the behavior for now. Let's add some more plants to it so we can pick up multiple times and then click on the overrides and apply the changes to the prefab. Now hit play. And as you can see we can pick up this item three times and then it gets destroyed. Now um, let's add some animation um, to the player. So when we click on this item, the player should play first uh, an animation and then um, we put this item to the inventory. Select this item again, click on the edit behavior and add crossfade animation, move it up. I want to use a different animation state and I also want to wait before we pick up for maybe 6 seconds. Okay, let's hit uh, overrides and apply all to prefab again. And uh, now we need to add the animation to our player. Open the animator controller for it. I'm going to put this into interaction. Um, and then let's drag and drop our animation. Okay. We have set um, to use the pickup plant animator state, so let's copy this name and change it in the animator controller. Hit play. Okay, now the player plays the animation, but if we rotate the camera, he is facing uh, at the wrong direction, um, so we need to disable the IK when uh, the player uh, picks up this item. And also, if we ro rotate uh, the character, he can still rotate um, his body. Let's change this, select the plant again, click on the edit behavior and 
first of all let's disable the rotation of the player so he can't rotate I'm going to use component set enabled and disable the third person controller So I'm disabling the third person controller before we play the animation. Let's copy this action and paste it after we pick up. And after that, after we pick up an item, I want to enable the third person controller again. And also the, th th uh, the player has a character IK script uh, with a method set IK. Um, I want to use this method because it smoothly uh, turns off the IK. You can also um, use set enabled but um, it will um, look not, not that good. So I'm going to use this smooth uh, way. So let's add a new action component or no, let's add game object send message because we don't know if uh, character IK is um, attached to our player. Uh, so I'm going to use send message. Set IK with a boolean um, parameter and I want to enable it after pick pickup and let's copy this action I want to disable disable it before the animation plays so let's paste as new and um, uncheck this value then override uh, the prefab again Let's hit play. Now I can't rotate and if I move the camera the player is still facing in the direction he, is, well, he was looking. We have still a problem that if the character is in range of this trigger but looks in a different direction. Um, so if he is standing like this and clicks on the plant, he still can pick it up, but he is, does not face to the trigger. Um, so let's change it also. Oops. Click on edit behavior again and add uh, transform look at trigger. and move this action uh, before we play the animation. Override the prefab, hit play. So now let's position our player like this and hit uh, on the trigger, he turns to the trigger and then picks it up. And when all items from this item um, are picked up, uh, the item will uh, get destroyed. <laughs> 